Well, hello, folks out there in YouTube land. Got a big show lined up for you. Let's get right on into it. All right. We've got two big five stars, and it looks like it's down to two for uh, the number one D lineman in the country. And we've got another five star that's uh, really liking the Vols. So we're going to talk about that. But first, I want to uh, congratulate the uh, Vols softball team. They actually just won the SEC tournament, and I'll show you that. And here you can see where they're celebrating not only the SEC tournament win, but they won the SEC regular season as well. And they were the number one seed, and they'll be going into the NCAA here pretty soon. And they uh, beat the Gamecocks, who were considered the Cinderella story, but uh, the uh, Vol said, said, clock struck midnight for Cinderella, and there they are celebrating the victory. So obviously, they've got a real good shot at winning the SEC, the tournament, which they've already done, and winning a national title. So that would be, that'd be awesome. So we'll be following them and uh, kind of keeping up with them. But let's get into these two five stars. And I'm going to show you, this is on three with Josh Newberg, and he's talking about Williams Winery uh, and his uh, recruiting situation. It looks like, even though he's got 10 teams listed, it looks like it's going to come down to Oklahoma and Tennessee. Now, about a month ago, Steve Wiltfong had us in the driver's seat. Some people think Oklahoma's in the driver's seat, so it looks like it's probably going to come down to these two teams. So let's see what he has to say. Number one defensive lineman in America has eliminated some teams. Let's start there. Five-star defensive lineman Williams Winery dropped a top 10, but we're going to tell you why the list of contenders is actually much smaller. As I said before, he is the number one ranked defensive lineman in America, and the narrowing of his list signifies that he is inching towards a final decision. So let's bring on national recruiting analyst Sam Spiegelman. Sam, Williams Winery can punch his ticket anywhere he wants to go, coast to coast. He can do it any time he wants. So are we going to have to wait until December or February on National Signing Day for a decision, or do you think it could come sooner? With Williams Winery, he's been very active taking visits this spring, and we know that he's going to take some critical summer official visits. Right now, all signs are pointing to a decision at the end of the summer before his senior season. Mm. So we will not have to wait until the signing period for the number one defensive lineman in the country, the number two overall player in the on 300. Wow. So really, we're looking at two and a half, three months from the number one defensive lineman in America making his decision. Williams Winery hasn't taken any official visits yet. But boy, did he get on the road and take some unofficial visits this spring. Sam, what do you think might have been one of the most impactful visits he's taken? Yeah, we know that he's been to Oklahoma a bunch in his recruitment, but probably the most impactful visits have to be to Knoxville. We know he was there in January, and since then, Tennessee has been trending for an official visit. Like we said, this summer, he went back to Knoxville again over the spring for the spring game. Tennessee is one of the teams with all of the momentum in williams Nowary's recruitment. We talked about Oklahoma having built a strong foundation, but Tennessee has been the team with momentum this spring. All right, so as we teased at the top, there's 10 teams in his top 10, obviously. But Sam, tell me who of these 10 really stand out? Who are the ones that are battling for his commitment? We just talked about Tennessee and the big moves that, that the Vols have made with williams Nowary since January. Five months of recruiting the number one defensive lineman as hard as they have, and they've put themselves with a chance and a seat at the table until this summer decision. Um, the other team, of course, to watch is the Sooners. They got him back on campus this spring. And like I said earlier, he's visited Norman more than any other campus in his recruitment. He's got a former teammate, Caden Green, a four-star offensive tackle who's now a freshman for Brent Venables. Brent Venables and his staff do a great job of recruiting the Midwest. That's where he's from. So Williams Nowary, if I'm picking two teams to watch, it's Tennessee, who's made a big move this spring, and Oklahoma, who has been there for some time. All right, so it sounds like it's down to the two teams. Steve Wiltfong obviously thinks Tennessee. These guys are thinking he's leaning towards Oklahoma, but it looks to me like it's probably a 50-50 as to who he chooses, and it looks like we'll probably know this summer. But uh, but this would be a huge pickup for the Vols. You can see what Josh Heupel's trying to do. He realizes the defense is the problem. It's not the offense. The offense is going to score points. He's going to make sure of that. Where we've got to improve, and we've shown improvement with our defensive line going from around 100th into the top 30 as far as rushing defense. Our secondary was terrible the last two years. So one way to help your secondary is to put a lot of pressure on the quarterback. That will force, obviously, sacks, possibly even strip sacks. But the other thing that it does, it forces them to make decisions very quickly 
and the cornerbacks and the safeties don't have to stick with the receiver so long because I don't care how good you are on defense. If that quarterback gets to sit back there a long time, he's going to find an open receiver. You can just count on it. So this would be a great pickup for us. Now, we already picked up, like, say, three big-time recruits last year with Chandavian Bradley, Caleb Herring, and David Hobbs. So we've already got three big-time recruits on campus, and, and, and hopefully we'll get to see something out of them this season. But we've got to keep stacking these five stars and these high four stars if we're going to be able to compete with the Georgias and the Alabamas of the world. And that's who we have to play every year pretty much. Even with this new schedule, we'll at least be playing uh, one of them every year and, and two every other year. So that's who we got to compete against if we're going to win the SEC. Well, you've got to recruit with them too. And that's what we've not been able to do. And we're starting to uh, get into that uh, situation where we can. The next uh, player that has dropped a top 10 is Aiden Breland out of California. And he is a five-star defensive lineman. And he has uh, got Tennessee in his top 10. And uh, this story goes, um, it says, while outside critics have suggested that Tennessee head coach Josh Heupel doesn't place a premium on defense, he is quietly making ways for several top defenders. They're closing in on several elite talents. And one priority narrowed his recruitment on Friday. Five-star defensive lineman Aiden Breland. Six foot five, 290, 25th player overall. And he narrowed his list to Tennessee, Georgia, Texas A&M, LSU, and the SEC. That's the four we'll be competing against. And then obviously he's got some out in the West, Oklahoma, Texas, et cetera. And as far as big-time defensive linemen, obviously Williams Demary is one of the biggest ones for us. Uh, Edric Houston from Buford, Georgia is another one. Eli Rushing out of Tucson, Arizona. He's also warm on the uh, Vols. Jordan Ross out of Birmingham, Alabama. Alabama! Cam Franklin just uh, got a prediction that he'd be uh, coming to the Vols. So we got a real good shot at him. He is a very high four-star, almost a five-star. And now you can add Aiden uh, Breland on that list as well. If we could pick up two of those five-star defensive linemen, maybe three, that would be huge. That would be absolutely monstrous because you could stack those on top of the three we got last year. Now come uh, 2024, we're just going to be a nightmare. And that's really the year I see us being the most dangerous. 2023, we will see the defense should be better. I would expect an improvement there. It's really kind of up to what Joe Milton does at quarterback because if he plays well, I think we'll be very difficult to deal with. If he struggles a little bit, we, you know, offense is so critical to us right now because our defense can't carry the day. If we could ever get to where our defense is close to as good as our offense, no team is going to want to play us. I don't care if you're Alabama or Georgia. You're not going to want a piece of the balls. So I see what uh, Josh Heupel's doing, and I like it, and he just needs to stay on this program, <laughs> just keep doing what he's doing. And I think we're going to have a real interesting 10 years with that guy. All right, folks, I did want to uh, feature my sponsor in this uh, show today, which I introduced you to him a few days ago, and that was uh, Peter Holloway. And uh, he is a big Vol fan and wanted to support the channel, which is really cool. And uh, he's got a uh, beach house that uh, he rents out, and he thought one of the ways that he could help sponsor is to uh, advertise. And I'll show you some of the pictures uh, of this home. That's It's very reasonably priced uh, to rent, and it's got great access to the beach. You can just walk right to it, and uh, really some cool amenities. Here's the actual home. Here's the interior of the home. And right here is the actual uh, property, and you have access to three different pools. As you can see, the ocean's right there. So if you've got kids with you, you know how they love to get in the pool if they're not going to be in the ocean. A big master bedroom. You've got uh, bunk beds for the kids if you're going to bring your family. As you can see, it's a really nice place. Nice back porch to hang out. A nice full kitchen. After a big day at the uh, ocean, you may want to have a low country boil or something along those lines. And this would be a great place to do just that. And I do like how the kitchen uh, ties into the living room, which is always nice. That way nobody's separated. And the, uh, and the resort is actually called Portside Resort. And their name of their home there is the Salty Suite. And if you want to play tennis, you can certainly do that. And again, you can see all the pools, hot tub, all of that. Also, if you want to work out. So if you're looking to uh, take a trip down to Panama City, Florida, the uh, Salty Suite's a great deal, very reasonably priced. And you would be renting from a Vols fan who also is in the military. He and his wife both were in the military. He still currently is, and they're both huge Vols fans. So instead of renting from a big corporation, why not rent from a Vols fan? So check out the Salty Suite next time uh, you're looking to go down to Florida. All right, folks, just wanted to cover these two uh, five-star defensive linemen. 
Again, I think they're part of the secret sauce uh, that the Vols need to put together to be able to win a national title. And I'm looking at 2024 as really the year we'll have our best opportunity, especially with the 12-team uh, playoff. But look, I didn't think we'd win 11 games last year either. So we might surprise even ourselves this year. Uh, we'll see how it all rolls. But I'm pretty fired up about this recruiting class. I sure would like to see us finish, you know, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, somewhere in there. Top five would be huge because then we can start really competing for those titles. And if you like this content, be sure to hit that like button. Let's be able to continue to cover the Vols, the SEC, and all that good stuff. And if you've not subscribed, it's right here on your right, my left. That's right. And uh, cost you nothing would help me out. I appreciate it. Just boop, and you're done. And right over here is my most recent video YouTube thinks you'll love. And check that one out, and we'll see you next time on Sports Talk Jay.